So I am currently serving in Hibbing on uh, child care related issues. How I got here, I, th I think is probably a good way to kind of lay the foundation of like what I'm doing right now. The fellowship started as a, um, a community led initiative to really tackle the key issues that are uh, being that are plaguing the, the residents here. So one of them was child care. And my focus is on how to make child care uh, affordable as well as easily accessible to a lot of the families here. I did a, a listening tour to actually hear from the residents and families what are their struggles. And then from then on, I, I spoke with key stakeholders and developed a plan to uh, move forward. With the connections that I made from the listening tours and the stakeholders, I realized that the issue was kind of a, a twofold problem is um, how to, like I said, how to provide quality care for the families and how to promote uh, the child care sector itself. Um, because without child care, you can't really uh, promote the overall economic uh, development of the community. I developed a site or a, a tool for families to kind of a consolidated website for families to access um, so that they don't have to spend hours and hours searching on where to find child care because it is very difficult, especially during COVID, um, finding child care. And then I've had conversations with the local schools and um, uh, businesses to see how they could interact in, with the child care sector and hopefully increase the number of quality care or pro providers in the area. So as a little bit of a backstory, in March of 2019, Nebraska experienced some very drastic floods. Um, that was kind of a devastating moment for them because uh, they're already like in an economically distressed um, situation. So they kind of struggled on how to revitalize um, their community. The project that I was participating in through one of my um, CLAP courses was uh, in Winslow, Nebraska. So it was a population of a, a little over a hundred people and they most, I would say about 90% of their um, town was completely ruined. They had to figure out how to, um, what was the best strategy for them to move forward. And we ended up meeting with a lot of the community members um, to discuss First of all, how they felt about the floods, you really making that personal connection. Um, and then from then on, kind of develop a strategic plan for them to move forward and recommendations and how to, for them to rebuild their community. They did end up uh, choosing to move to higher ground. So they don't have to move anymore or rebuild their, their community. That is also when I heard about Leap for Minnesota. And I already had that kind of taste for community development and community outreach. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to enhance my skills. I did have conversations with the local high school in Hibbing to see if they were willing to have some sort of career pathway for the students to earn a credential so that they can kind of, right after graduating, they could if they wanted to um, work in a child care facility. It seems as though they are really willing to do so and they're they were excited about the idea, but that obviously takes a lot of approval from the higher ups and then it, the number of teachers that need to be qualified to teach those kind of classes has been one of the barriers to overcome. Um, and coming straight out of college and being so, I, don't, I guess, happy and excited and willing to make change immediately and then um, actually being in the position to do so and seeing that there is sometimes red tape or uh, approval processes that take a longer time, especially during COVID, that I wouldn't say it was disheartening, but it made me realize that there are a lot of roadblocks that you need to kind of overcome to uh, make these, I wouldn't say drastic, but positive changes in the community. Things take time when you want to make change. Leap for Minnesota also really promotes the idea of uh, once you figure something out, you disperse it to the community as a whole. So practicing that and just everything that I do and making sure that once I collect that information, it doesn't just stay with me. I want it to be shared with everyone so that um, uh, everyone's on the same page and we aren't living in silos, you know? So just doing that on like a day-to-day -day basis on in every activity or um, initiative that I am a part of.
people are really supportive of like the initiatives and change that they want to see in their community. And if I am a tool to help them progress to that way or level, then I'm more than willing to use whatever skills that I have to kind of assist them in that way. 